Hey guys, welcome back to Yes or No Item Reviews. My name is Omar. In this episode, we're going to unbox, set up, and review the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. And we're gonna start right now. This is everything that was inside that box. Okay guys, so now we're going to set it up. So guys, we will gonna put now the rear bumper support frame. This is the technique, these wheels should face downward like that downward okay there's one indicator two three and four so all you're gonna do is just insert here first put it in make sure they match the hole right there okay and all you have to do is the remaining four here put it on this insert here like right there and, and make sure that they are paired you're going to get your eight pieces of screw. So let's begin in putting the screws. All right. All right, guys. So now we're going to install the tires and the wheel. So guys, they are very identical as you can see. But here, guys, make sure that you see this. They are different. So one here are the two are single bolt. So you can see right here, it's single. So it's gonna like tiny bolt right here. And the back part has double. So you can see they're thicker. So the thicker one should be at the back. You see that? The difference? So we'll place this for now, the front, and we'll put this at the back. And let's do it right now. So make sure that you put this inside right here and make sure that you, you pair this to here. Like that, you see that? So just, there you go. And you'll do the same on the other side. Make sure you pair this right here and there you go. And now you're going to grab your washer, place it in, and then you're going to grab your pin. And you need to insert your pin like that. And then you will just gonna like split this right that. There you go. And you'll do exactly the same on the other side. So you're going to do exactly the same. All right. And we'll do the front. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab your four washer right here. So we're in the front. All you have to do is put your washer first, then you put your tire, then you put again your washer, right here. So washer, tire, washer, insert your pin. Same with the other ones, and you're good to go. Then you'll do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, there you go. All right guys, so now we're going to place our hub cap. So we're going to put the hub cap right here. So there's like indicator here, it's like open space. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So all you're gonna do is just pair that to the holes of each holes and insert it and 
you should hear a lick and make sure they're good and you're gonna do exactly the same in the rest of it As you can see, we have connectors there. So you will find the connector here and then the connector from your steering wheel. So first, we're going to place them. As you can see, there's like a pin there, three pins. And you will just pair like that. Carefully. And you hear a click. And then what we're going to do is just... We're going to take this out. So you need to take this out in order for you to insert the stick on the hole. So this one, you throw this. And you put it right there. You slowly gonna like assist it so you will not gonna ruin the wirings, right? There you go. All right guys, so now we're going to, don't forget to put the screw. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this screw, number one, and you're not to pair it on your screw. So what you're gonna do guys, is insert it right here where's the hole you see that and make sure that they are intact properly so you will gonna need a screwdriver okay and this one right here you put it here So there's stops right here, guys. As you can see, there's like one, two, three, four tops. As you can see, you will just pair the four tops. And also on the side, there's tab and this side. So make sure you're going to put it in, then snap it. Make sure they are fit securely. There you go. Next step, we're going to put our side mirror. So the left and the right. So we're doing the right. So we must hear a click right here in the hole. There you go. Did you hear that click? So if you hear that click, that means it's good. There you go. You hear a click? Good to go. All right, guys. So we're just going to pick this up. This red right here. And you're gonna put this red right here, pair them like this. This is your indicator, guys. This push button and you will just, and you should hear a click. And good to go. Guys, so our next step is we're going to attach the seat to the slot right there in the main body and fasten it with one screw. So you'll be asking, where's the screw? Right here, guys. That's your indicator. So you need to put the screw right there and you match it right here, okay? So what we're going to do is put this, this two slots, one, two, in here. This is your indicator. One and two. This seat belt is out because you don't like to put it in and you bolt it. Try it first like this. should be facing. Okay, and we're gonna shove this on the slot right here. Shove it in and then lace right there. Get your screw and fasten it here with your screw right there. So our next step is we're going to get your spoiler. So there's one, two, and three, and you're just gonna pair this right here in the hole. So make sure this one is facing the back. And snap that there. Grab the battery right here, guys. You must charge your battery for 12 hours before you use your vehicle for the first time. Okay, remember that. And you'll be probably asking, where would I gonna plug it? So guys, you're going to put this, you see that? So what we are going to do is just lift that and then pair this here and insert the pin right there. And you're good to go charge. And we're going to charge right now. 
All right. There. So that's the indicator, guys, that it's working. Because first, your charger, we're going to show a red light like that. All right, guys, so now it just turned green, and let's go ahead and test this out. Hey, guys, quick question. Is this video helping you? If so, do yourself a favor by clicking the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so that you'll be the first to get notified to all the latest videos. Let's get back to the review. All right, guys, right now we're going to look at the features of the car. Right now we're going to learn how to turn it on. So it's right here. The power button's right there. I'm going to press it right now. That's pretty cool that it makes a cool car sound. All right, so we're gonna look at this. This dashboard here it doesn't really do anything. It's just decoration, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go over the features over here. So right now, I'm gonna go over MP3, if you guys can see that right there, MP3. So this car actually comes with an auxiliary cord. So it comes with this right here. It does not, however, come with the iPhone adapter. So if you have an iPhone, you have to use a dongle here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this because I have an iPhone. I'm gonna put my iPhone here, connect it, and I'm gonna put this right here into the MP3. It says line. I am now gonna go in my iPhone, go to my music app. Okay, and there's my yes or no item review. I'm gonna play it. There it is, so it starts playing. And the cool thing is that you can actually adjust the volume through here. So this is the volume going down. See that? And now here's the volume going up right here. All right, and now if we go back to our phone, you can actually adjust it too. The next thing we're gonna do is the TF card. TF card is basically the same thing as a micro SD card right there, okay? So funny how this works. You actually have to store your music in here and flip it like that. <laughs> so it goes like this. TF card music play. And that's the song I made in GarageBand. So you might have heard that in my vlog. And I put more than one, so you can also press next here. Try. And that's another one that I made in GarageBand. Mm -hmm. So I just put two there, so. See, and it goes back to the original. So yeah, pretty cool. You got the previews, you go back, you go next, you can pause, you can play. All right, and I'll show you this in a little bit, but hold on. Okay, so that's that, that's TF card. The next one is USB. I'm gonna connect this lightning cable here again. Okay, so this is just a normal Apple lightning cable. I'm gonna put this USB right here, okay, in this USB slot. And you would think that it works. Oh yeah, this goes upside down too. Okay. It's like a Chinese. So I didn't play anything and that's not my music, which means it's not playing from my phone. Look, that's my music from my phone. Like, I'm gonna pause it right now. See, that's the music from there. Therefore, what I'm saying is it does not work with a lightning cable. Look, here we go. I'm plugging in the USB. So no, it does not charge. So how do you make that USB work? You have to use a flash drive. Okay, so I put two songs in here from yes or no item reviews and you have to put it upside down. So you hear that? Now it works. 
That's a theme song from Yes or No Item Reviews. How about one more? Next. That's the end credits. And that's the review song. So anyway, so that's how you work the MP3 TF card and this is the USB. So what does mode do? Look at Basically, it tells your kid a story, which is kind of funny <laughs> for a car to tell you a story. But if you press it again, so it has its own songs. You heard that earlier. You can also press next song. So it has a few songs. So that's two, three, four. So it has, you know, has this full set of songs here, as you can hear. Okay. So if you're tired of it, you just press play or pause. I mean. Okay. So what does this do? Okay. So if you look on the front, see those headlights that comes like that. If you press this now, that same button, look what it does. So it's the brights. So I'm pushing high again. Beam, low beam. Yeah. So it's high beam, low beam. So that's what it does. And this one is low speed and high speed. So that has to deal with the speed of the car. Okay, so there's only two speeds here. On the controller, there's three speeds. There's low, medium, and high, but this one only has two. The foot pedal's right here. It doesn't work, why? Okay, because look, you have to look at this. This goes down, which means the car is gonna go backwards. See that? If you put this in the middle, it won't work. That's where it was. If you put this up, it's going to go, you guessed it, over. Now let's go here. That's a horn. It sounds like a real horn. And this one, that turns on the music again. Just a shortcut to these. Okay, so I'm gonna press pause here. So the Lamborghini symbol's there, so that's a pretty cool feature, obviously, it's nice. The wheel looks awesome. Looks like a sports car-like. Now, you know Lamborghini is known for the doors being open, right? So this is how you open it. Or this button right here. There you go. So I just squeeze it in. There it goes. You just kind of push it back. The other side too. Yep, so you just push these. So you just push this in. And then it will open. So that's what it looks like awesome. when both of them are open. Cool thing about this car too, it has a seat belt. So this is it right here. You put your kid here, there's a seatbelt. This is what it looks like. And of course you can adjust it. So it looks like it's for two kids, but it's actually for one kid. We just designed it. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. It's still safe. So remember what we saw earlier, that's the charger. And the cool thing, this thing has a trunk. So you just pretty much pull these things back. There you go. And there you go snacks in here and his drink and it actually all fits inside so if he wants to go around the block and he's thirsty boom in so I'm gonna close these now all right if you don't want to carry it like this which well, not that it's not too heavy but you want to make it easier right you can do this like in the bottom and you'll notice that you have these wheels In the front, there's actually a handle. Right there. I'm gonna lift it up. And look, if you see the wheels, it rolls. So it makes it really, really convenient to haul this car around. And if you aren't out battery, it's good. Yeah, if you're not out of battery, you don't have to carry it. You just roll it around. And you could actually hide this one. You need to tuck it. Like that. And if you have these out, you can still drive the car. Just 
push it in. There it is. And you're ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to put a battery. This is the remote control. And that's the back, that's the front. So you need two AAA battery. There you go. And there you go. So it's blinking now, let's test it. All right guys, so this is the controller. This is how you pair it. Look at the up arrow and the down arrow. You push those two down at the same time. And it's going to blink. All right, let's go toward the car. And we're going to push this button right here. And you'll see that the controller now turns solid. And now it's paired. Perfect. Right. So let's test it. Forward. Wow. Backward. And look at the steering wheel right here. Look at this. Cool. All right. Wow. Let's test this out outside. Okay, guys, this is the slow speed right here. Here are some good things about the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ. It physically looks cool and has scissor doors just like a Lamborghini would. I like the fact you can play your own music three different ways through aux cord, micro SD, and USB. The remote controller is easy to use and has three different speeds. I like the fact that when my kid gets older, he could manually drive it himself without the controller. When battery runs out, the portable handle in the front and rolling wheels in the back really help transport it anywhere without having to manually carry it. I also like the fact that it has its own trunk space to store snacks and other things. This car also has suspensions that reduce vibrations and bumps. Here are some negative things about the Lamborghini. The built-in storytelling is kind of weird for me. I guess some people will like it, but to me, that's an odd feature for a car. Even though this car looks like it has two seats, it is really only meant for one kid. I wish two kids can ride it. Finally, when I plug in my lightning cable to USB, I wish it played my iPhone music right away instead of having to put music on a flash drive. It's just an extra step. Honestly though, this is still a great purchase. The positives outweigh the negatives for this item. Having your kid play on a toy that is safe and fun at the same time is always a plus. I do not regret purchasing this item and I believe you won't regret it either. If you want to learn more about the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ or if you want to purchase one for yourself, I'll leave all that information in the description section below. And please let us know your opinion on this item in the comment section because we would love to hear what you think about it. Also, check out these other clips that are similar and related to this video to the right of your screen. Until then, I will see you at the next item.